What up? What's up, everybody? Welcome to the 32nd issue of Why Am I Nervous NGL? What up, comics? Where each every week we get together to talk all things comics from old to new, fan theory. So, what ifs? We've got you covered. I'm Cameron James. Joining me, as always, the Golden Voice of Podcast, Matt Ferreira. What's going on? We got and some our special guest today. We oh, do. Our, our, no, I'm that, no, 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 you can jump in front all you want because <laughs> we have Max and JR from Monmouth County Memes here, not only because they're good friends, but we have a score to settle. Because I went on their we, show. We we have a score to settle. We have a score. I'm or you're involved you just, in the score. You're involved right, in the score. Right, I'm involved in the score. Yeah. I went on their <laughs> show and said my opinions on not only how LeBron James sucks. Bad he doesn't. Opinions, <laughs> he but, doesn't. <laughs> but about Captain America sucking, about Breath of the Wild sucking. <laughs> <laughs> and about Mass Effect sucking as a game. As I like, you might only get me to agree with you on one of those points. Whatever. We're here. Max, <laughs> JR, what's up, guys? And welcome. How's it going? Hey, how are you guys doing? It's, I, uh, I kind of have to, I kind of have to agree. You said, Matt, he said that you have, and I like the Golden Boys thing. <laughs> it is actually incredible. If you, if you did watch the episode, I was like, I need to hear Matt speak. <laughs> and it is better than I thought. Holy shit. Oh, well, thank you very much. <laughs> I appreciate it. I did grow up myself. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> yeah, we're, tr- we're trying to get him to be a, a voice actor here. but uh, Yeah, well, not, we'll see. I actually, there. funny enough, going into Mass Effect, I tried out for a role in um, uh, Andromeda. Was it it's a good thing you didn't. Get, it's a good thing you didn't get it. Thank yeah, you. Seriously. We agreed on something. It sucks. <laughs> but I mean, well, that game we all knew sucked. But um, I actually got the audition out too late. I'm like, I probably would have gotten that part if I'd done it sooner. But maybe it was for the best since that game ended up tanking. Who was the character? Um, it was like there was two parts. One was like a random soldier. I think I forgot who the other one was. Mm-hmm. But I read for both and recorded them, sent it in, and then as I sent it, I was like, oh, that was due by yesterday. <laughs> I was like, I dropped the ball here. Yeah, that's all right. It, it is what it is. What have you? What have you guys been up to? How's how's Monmouth County memes doing? It's don't uh, talk to me because I'm not <laughs> doing anything. <laughs> Fair. Fair. Yeah, no, it's it's been all right. Um, I really I've taken a, like a little bit of a step back um, with uh, with posting and stuff. We reached a million likes, so that was that was big. Nice. Congrats on that, guys. Thank. That you. was was that a one post or was that just? In- oh no, I wish. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I. <laughs> Honestly, I'd be on Kimmel right now if it was on one post, but (laughs) Um, but no, I've actually like literally I've gotten so bored of it. I've been doing a lot of I know we talked about this TikTok, dude, not going to lie. In one week, I already got kicked off. But what did you post? (laughs) It's let me just say I I felt that same feeling in the beginning of the meme page where I was so happy posting. and I was doing like so much per day. I I, in one week, 100,000 likes. I had some posts blow up. I did one about Drake and Josh. I'll text you guys. You'll see it. And then guess what? Kicked off for a few like edgier stuff. Yeah, I have like a more screwed up sense of humor, but I'm back. So (laughs) but what I'm saying is the, the meme page is doing good. The podcast stuff as well. Um, we're on episode 24. What episode are you guys on? 32. This is 32. Yeah. Okay, so you're beating us. <laughs> Wait, so hold on. You're going to tell me that they kicked you off TikTok, but um, a bunch of women can flaunt their shit, and it's cool. That's Instagram. I don't think you can do that on TikTok. No, no, no you do it on TikTok, too. Dude. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. What, what? Out of curiosity, what, what accounts are those? Who would I follow? <laughs> what? Dude, uh, all, you have to do, all, all you have to do is download the app, and you'll see it. It's not Dude, that hard. I'm not going to lie. That was kind of – that was some of my content. And here's the fuck. He was. Here's how I'm an idiot. Wait, so you were shaking make, your ass? No. Yeah, I was shaking fun my of ass. Oh, I was making fun. I, I was. Okay. I was making fun of him. But what I didn't learn is that I was an idiot. So our friend Duke, who's very popular, kind of does that as well. Like if a girl like thirst traps on there for likes, and all girls know you're gonna get more likes, but he doesn't tag them. Unfortunately, I was doing it, and I fucking ta- can I curse? I'm sorry. Yeah, we're <laughs> dude, of okay. fuck that. Fuck that. <laughs> and I, dude, I tag these girls, and literally it sends them a message that so and so made a video. At least if I make a video and it blows up, oh. maybe one of our friends will see it. But literally, I was saying, hey, I'm making fun of you, and I'm adding in the first place, so it would kind of go viral and get views. And then she'd be like, okay, this guy's kind of like. No, I wouldn't make fun of people, but it was just like funny humor. Like if a girl's like saying something and she's wearing revealing stuff, I would just be like this <laughs> wide, wide open. And I'd be like, oh, wait, she's saying something like obviously it's like a fucking joke, but it's like she knows what she's doing when like wearing zero clothes. I'm like, this yeah. isn't the hub. OK, and you're going to tell me they kicked you off for that. 
Uh, there's that and a few other posts. I'll text them to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll send them to you guys off off air. Um, but other they're edgier stuff. Like whatever. It's they were funny in my point of view. Like I couldn't post that stuff ever in Mom's County memes because it's dude. It's such of more family oriented place. And we've all, all me and Jared have almost gotten kicked off Instagram already. So I'm not gonna do huh. that now. <laughs> Dude, that, that blows my mind because literally people are using Instagram and TikTok seems like it's a tool to just like literally shake their ass and show their tits. And if you're a dude, like, I, I don't know. If, if a dude's walking around in a fucking Speedo, you're getting kicked off. But if a chick's walking around in a thong, it's like, yo, way to go. So it makes... It makes no fucking sense to me. I don't. Dude, I was, I was gonna, yeah, I was going to go off on my Instagram story last night because I was like, I was actually so pissed driving somewhere because I can't do it in my own house. Still with my parents. So I can't be like screaming at the top of my lungs. But I was going to be like, dude, in one week on the app, I agree with you, Cameron. The like the level of what girls versus guys can do on the app is not even fair. It's not like what a girl can do. They can get away with murder. Like they, I, I posted the same video that a girl did, but I flipped it around. I wasn't showing anything. Okay. You guys are taking it at me. Like I'm twerking on there. I'm not. Okay. I posted <laughs> the same joke that a girl did. It, it was something about like, whatever it was like, uh, I don't know. Okay. I'm not even going to say it on here. I'll text you guys, but why the fuck her, not? No one, okay. We're not going to hear it. Okay. Whatever. So it was like th- this girl basically said like about, um if her like um her sisters or something about her brother and it was like the long story short wait just hold on let, let me pull it out for you i just talk for one second i want to get the word right story. It was, he's a great storyteller he really gets to the point quickly no i i, I really i want to open this up but here continue talking for a second while i just open wait, hold this hold on jr is that a a a playstation 5 controller behind you what he wishes uh, no. how did you uh, even just see that like what I, are you right right the right yeah that looks like a place no uh, I was no like, that's what? a that that's a really old canon it's not that old it's like an old canon camera oh no i don't have a playstation 5 uh, apparently mine was supposed to be here today but i still haven't got it so fucking oh gone. really yeah I, I i somehow st- got some pre-order huge bundle thing from GameStop on a whim at completely lucky did you check the tracking or sure someone didn't like God forbid, jacket off the board. It didn't even ship. It, I mean, it's not supposed to be oh, here like sucks. it's not supposed to be here till January eighth. But they're like, oh, it's supposed to be there tomorrow. I'm like, yeah, no, it's what? still in pre order. Yeah. All know. right, wait. I, I pulled it up really quickly. Right, so this girl it. made a video saying my brother's girlfriend um, called me annoying, so I fucked her man. Basically saying she <laughs> fucked her brother. So I did. I did. It, but listen, it's it's something stupid. So it's like uh, whatever. Basically, just a, a joke. So I did the same thing. My sister's boyfriend called me annoying. So so I fucked his girl, aka my sister. Hers got six hundred thousand likes. Mine got to like ten thousand. It was really funny. Got taken down. It, I made the same joke. Makes no sense. And of course, it is weird. I understand. You guys look at me weird, yeah. but I, I like. I already started my new account, and I just posted on my Snapchat story. Dude, in 10 minutes, I, I don't know why, but I feel like I'm attracting a really bad audience for some reason, like some like toxic shit. And that's yeah, what happens. No, no. I, I you're attract attracting it. you're attracting the incels. That's what you're yeah. doing. I mean, like, hold I on. Has, have no, has no one heard the killer song? Like somebody told me that she had a boy. Yeah. Me. Like you I'm still told, still trying to figure out who exactly is he talking about like his girlfriend banging another chick? Is he talking about like I, I can't figure the time? Well, let's look it up. All right, let's do it. I'm gonna look it up how, right how now. are we gonna find that? So, can we reach out to him? The killers, <laughs> yeah, get him. Just Brandon, just Brandon, whatever his name is. <laughs> He's like, What the hell are you guys talking about? Well, we're trying to figure out what exactly you were writing about because no one can decode your goddamn song. I are think, you, what, yeah, what, what were you gonna say? Saying? No, I was like, I no, think no. he's, I think he's talking about his girlfriend banging another chick, but I could be completely wrong about this. But that's uh, that's where I'm going with Matt. Did you, did you guys pull up? You guys pulled up? <laughs> I'm on Reddit, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just to find out what it says. Oh, okay. Okay, found I found it? it out. So it's about a guy's frustration when he's out and having a hard time trying to pick up girls. Brandon Flowers thinks that he doesn't know the girl. He's in the club and notices her, but he's probably too shy to go talk to her. But after 17 teen tracks, that's a weird, I don't know what that means. He must have finally found out her name, and then somebody told him a rumor that ruined his night. He sings blah, 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 the whole part. So not only is she's taken, but she could be a lesbian too. Okay. So, so if we're taking this song yeah. literally, his ex also turned out to be a lesbian. So oh, there's, there's, there's no way he's talking about like a girl who looked like up. a dude. Yeah, I yeah, I was like <laughs> maybe this guy is just like you know swings both ways. Fuck the I now. I mean, I mean maybe, <laughs> maybe he's in that. Twenty twenty, man. <laughs> I, I, well, at the time that song came out, it was like twenty ten. So it was earlier than that. I don't know. I think I, I think it's like came out like two thousand six. Maybe fucking high school. Who the fuck knows? But. <laughs> All right, 
we're going to get into this. So once again, this is why I'm on Nerd Since you know it up comics where you, uh, blah, where you follow us on Instagram, why I'm on our official facebook.com slash why I'm a nerd and listen to new issues every Tuesday on YouTube and your favorite podcast service. I'm going to skip the mumbo jumbo, but if you guys want to listen to some video game talk, you can listen to Mondays to Alphabet Gold. And if you want some sports talk, you can listen to this week, which is going to be Thursday uh, yep. to fourth and one where if all goes as planned, I will be changing my oh, name God. legally and I will be demanding people call me something else on any sort of have you guys quiet. ever played fantasy football with your friends and one of them just goes overboard about everything and every single time the wind blows the wrong way he's like oh the league's rigged bro everything's against me but he's in first place oh Remember no I mean I I mean, I'm the one in first place in our yeah, league. I just because you have Camara, but... who's just literally oh my un- God. It's, like it's unfair. Points. Leaping touchdowns. Like... Yeah, I mean, I mean, <laughs> he have six. Did he yeah. have six? He had six yeah. yesterday. That's disgusting. Felt... How many fantasy yeah. points did he have, Jr.? Two million. Oh 56. my God. <laughs> Wait, did you win your league? Yeah, he's in first league. place, right? No, it's over. Yeah, I won. Ah, uh, fuck you. Yeah, At least I'm not last. Up. The last person in our um, in our league, don't they, isn't that Bobby has to wear a speedo and jump in the ocean? Yeah, oh, I can tell you what Matt has to do. That. I would rather that than my punishment. So oh, you're in last. Go. Yeah, oh, Matt's way last. Like, yeah, about like last. I had like, like two wins. Uh, it was the worst <laughs> fantasy season I've ever had in my entire. All my players got hurt, and then when they were healthy, they didn't perform. So Matt, we made a bet before the season that he would. Uh, one of us, whoever won, whoever won. Did better, had to do some sort of whatever the fuck it is. And Matt's a diehard Ohio State Buckeyes fan. So no. I, I'm dressing him up as the no. Buckeye, the nut thing. And he has to walk around Pure Village or Seabra. I haven't decided yet in the middle of the summer. <laughs> I'm going to be so pissed. So that's... Uh, Can you that's let me know I'm... when that happens? I want to yeah. show up. Oh, 100%. Oh, I'm, I'm sure we're going to be advertising the crap. That is going on yeah. Monmouth County memes. Okay. I, I also, <laughs> I've, I've made best friends with the guy at CNN or CNBC News, whatever the, whatever the New Jersey news website is. I'm going to have them there. What? Uh, oh, I'm making this... A, I'm making, no, come on. <laughs> Asbury Park Press. Oh, yeah, they'll bring be there. Oh. The link will be there. Any, any oh, article. God. I'm going to make sure that you remember my name when this is fucking over so well, you need carry you need to be holding up a sign on why he's doing it so people just are like why is a big like yeah why is he walking around like that that's a good point i mean i could just put his fantasy football record up and just call it a day that's true. Oh. <laughs> this is what happens when you lose a fantasy football even though who knows what's going to be happening next summer hopefully people can yeah. go fucking out well, if you if you remember, um, uh, we posted on our story. This kid in Seabright held up a sign called like "Benny's Go Home, We Don't Want You," and it kind of went viral. It was on Asbury Park Press, and it was actually really enough a friend of mine from Middletown. But um, he literally did that a few times, and it was actually really funny. He was just walking around with the sign on that main street right there on Ocean Avenue. There's tons of traffic, so dude, you are gonna get ridiculed. <laughs> I can't yeah. fucking wait. Wait, so did, did the guy did the guy get busted? The cops like didn't give a fuck. They were just like, whatever. Oh no, they didn't give like people were taking pictures and everyone was sending it to me. And then I posted on her story and I was like, guys, tell me who this is. And then my buddy texts me, he's like, dude, you, you couldn't see my face. That's me. And I was like, holy <laughs> shit. That's awesome. That's good. I mean, it's it's weird because I know for a while, I think I don't think they were really around here this summer. And then all of a sudden they came back. So I don't know. I was I was afraid they were going to come back the other week when it was really fucking nice, but they didn't. So that's always a plus. But all right, Matt, let's dive right into this. What is hot off the press this week, courtesy of the Planet Bugle? I got to scroll down first. But first up, uh, apparently camera doesn't care, but the rest of the world does. Spider-Man is getting a new suit. So his top secret costume is going to be revealed next week, along with the new job for the man who wears it, which is very cryptic. This comes to us from gamesradar.com. Um, but yeah, this is part of the, this is just in the comic. This isn't in the movie, allegedly. Um, but I, I feel like this stuff like this never sticks. You know, they'll make a new com- they'll make a new like comic suit for a character and it'll wear it for like a year and then go back to the classic suit because it's the classic suit. I mean, they had a, they had a, they had freaking Tony Stark made him that stupid ass suit that he wears in the, in the movies. Yeah, but that's in the movies. That's to sell toys. You know what I mean? Like, the, get the, the fuck movies. out of here! Also, you're gonna tell me only it made it to, to it's sell only toys. Make it, but like, you can sell more. You're gonna sell more toys if he looks different every time. That's get how that works. Get the fuck out of here! It's marketing. Not, no. marketing. Yeah, no. He's, that's definitely that's definitely how it works. Yeah. No you. way! You're gonna tell me that they're only changing Spider-Man's suit to sell toys. 
It's not the right. only reason, but it's a major part of it. Yeah. I yeah, agree with no, that. No, it definitely is. I feel yeah. like, dude, I feel like NFL teams do that with like other jerseys, like color yeah. rush jerseys and shit, like just to sell more of something. Yeah, but then what, what's the you? I, I mean, you're gonna tell it's me more revenue. Mar- so you're gonna tell me that Marvel's sitting there being like, "Hey, because our our comic books suck right now, let's just give Spider-Man a new outfit and then yeah, we're gonna do that all the time." Dude, look at look at Future State for for DC. There's like five different versions of Batman now. There's two. There's like five. There's three. All right, so see how it increases. You round up from three. <laughs> hey, come on, it's five. Can we settle on four? <laughs> yeah. well, no, 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 four. I'm willing to concede four. <laughs> No, I'm right. There's two. There's Are two. Are you sure? Yes. And one of his suits looks like the suit from the new 52. So that doesn't count as a new suit. And the other is, one... Lo- is Batwoman on it? No. Unless they changed her look, which they might have. I know Flash yeah, is a uh, Flash is a chick. I don't know. But we'll look at it. Because you figure that in, in, the, in, the, in the Marvel movies, which, again, I don't know what you guys think about the Spider-Man movies, but you could, you could say that... Spider- they suck. Get the oh. fuck out of here. Thank you. Oh, you. Thank you. You haven't seen all of them with me in theaters and you like jerked <laughs> them off. Oh, yeah, definitely. That was definitely what I was doing. Right. Good. <laughs> no, they're, 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 not very, they're, not, they're not very good. <laughs> Thank you. And I, Which the, ones? Which? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We're talking about the new, the current movies with Tom Holland. Yeah, they're they're entertaining. No, oh, what I'll say here. Time nah, out. No, he's, no, a, no, he's, no, he's a no. Tobey Maguire fanboy who's butthurt. Hey, no, no. I'm, I'm all about Tobey Maguire. I love exactly. Toby. No, what I'm trying. No, I don't think the movies suck. They're entertaining, but it's just like not Spider Man. I think Tom Holland is the truest to form Spider Man we've gotten so far, and I was. Really but he looks like him, this. but the writing sucks. It's this next movie I was really excited for because like we might get like true to comic Spider Man where people kind of hate him. You know, we got the Daily Bugle back going on this whole smear campaign, and they're like, "We're gonna do every Spider Man ever though." Instead, and I was like, ah. I'm cool. I'm like, I'm cool. I'll watch it, but I'm I'm really nervous. cool with it. Actually, I'm cool with it because even it, even if the movie sucks, you know, you'll still get to see Tobey Maguire Spider Man again. That's all that matters. Fair. I mean, Toby Toby's an OG. I hated Andrew Garfield. I was oh, just gonna say Andrew Garfield's the best actor to play him, but. The movies were awful. I'll, se- yeah. I'll I'll second that actually. I don't like I don't like him at all. I don't like him yeah. even a little bit. Like yeah. he doesn't. Yeah, I don't think he nails either Spider Man or Peter Parker at all. Yeah, that, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that overall, he's the best he's overall the actor. Best no, I can overall appreciate actor. that. Yeah. I haven't seen him in anything else because I hate him as Spider Man so much. I refuse to give him money by watching another one of his films. Well, dude, you him in like the social give, network is. You should, re- yeah. you should refuse to give Mark Webb money. Not yeah, fuck Mark Webb. Yeah, no, he <laughs> did. Fault. He did mess with it. Dude, it bugged it bugged the crap out of me in the the first Amazing Spider Man movie where he's like watching TV and there's like an ad because they're like, oh, Oscorp just unveiled this new like fabric. It's like webbing, and then the next scene he just has a box full of webbing. I'm like, how, a, how could you possibly afford that? B, yeah. nobody at Oscorp was like, Spider Man's using our webbing. Yeah, it's no. Um, yeah, I think if you watch like Andrew Garfield's interviews, he like feels really bad about how awful the movies were because he really liked the character. But I didn't think he they knows were that, that bad. Ah, uh, no, they were they awful. Are, they are. They they spit in the face of the character right and left. You th- really? I thought yeah. pretty good action scenes. I didn't hate the action scenes. Action scenes, sure, but like the actual him just being a dick all the time for no reason, like as Peter Parker, made no sense. I guess they yeah. were watching the third. He's also Adam, cool. He's also a cool hipster, not you know. Yeah, yeah. The way he's supposed to be. He's not a nerd like Toby. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The way he's supposed <laughs> to be. <laughs> yeah, it's a valid point. I mean, well, until the third one came out, and we, I mean, that movie just shit the bed all together. Exactly. <laughs> I will say, I don't, it's, listen, it sucks, but I love watching that movie. Yeah. I what? love watching that movie. It's you like so- the third one? No, I don't like it. It's a bad movie, but it's so much fun it's to watch. It's entertaining. Just like, oh, just like, like Iron Man bad, 3, it's entertaining. good to watch. Gotcha. Yeah. Have you yeah. seen The Toxic Avenger? I don't ever want to talk about Toxic, to Avenger Toxic Avenger 2. Ever. Tox- the first Toxic Avenger, yes, watch it. The second Toxic Avenger was one of the single worst things that happened in my entire life. Just, <laughs> it was awful. Smoke, smoke some weed and go watch Toxic Avenger There's 1. not enough. <laughs> go, go come back. There's up. not enough. No, it's completely cool <laughs> with that. Um, but no, I, so, okay, so... Did you think then Venom looked better in Spider-Man 3 or the Venom movie? Oh, the Venom movie. Yeah, the Venom, Venom of course. Well, I mean, yeah, Venom looks like shit in Spider-Man 3. It's Topher Grace, obviously. Yeah. Terrible. It's terrible. It doesn't work. So but, 
and but I don't blame. I blame. You know, you got to know who to blame for that. They yeah, didn't blame Raimi. Yeah. No, you don't. You don't, because Raimi didn't want to do Venom. Right. Got to blame you're... Avi Arad. No, who made them? Oh, I have he, so many issues with that man. He forced them. He, they they were writing the script as they were shooting. I mean, yeah. it, it, I, I, I can't. I'm just saying, you know, I, I mean, I I see what you're saying there, and it is it is a lot on a rod, a rat, whatever his stupid ass name is. But like, yeah. it, it's just if you're gonna do it, my thing is do it well. And like, Raimi is talented enough that he you know enough about the character, you know fans love him. Like, you could do it better than what you did. Like, you're casting yeah. Topher Grace for what reason? Topher Grace, yeah. they could have seen as Peter Parker before Eddie Brock. They should have yeah. casted The Rock, honestly. I think The and Rock just, would have killed it at they, that time. They just never should have done it, and I think that that was the whole thing. And he said, like, in interviews, he's like, I really didn't understand the character, and I was kind of just forced to do it. Ugh. Who didn't and understand the character? Raimi said he didn't really know the character well. He didn't want to do it. He didn't even want to do it for the next movie. He just didn't want to do Venom at all, which I would have been fine with, so... Yeah, he probably he probably should have dropped it because that was definitely dropping the ball and just and that, 100%. And, and, and that's why he left the he, that's why the fourth movie fell apart because he said you know they were forcing me to have it they gave me a deadline and I couldn't you know put together a script good enough to make up for the last movie so he just walked away. I didn't know there was supposed to be a fourth movie. There yeah, was no, yeah, they were doing Anne it. Hathaway going to be in it? I'm yeah, she was going to be Black Cat. Was she really? Yeah, yeah. That's I weird. actually didn't know that. And either. they were and they were going to do the Vulture as well. That was like the other. That was what the plan was. I had no idea on that one. But wait, when did the third one come out? Wasn't it around the time Iron Man? 2007. Or it was just before the first the, Iron the Man came before. out. Yeah. Was it really? Yeah. Also, one thing, Bruce Campbell was going to be Mysterio. <laughs> Get the yeah, fuck out of here. That. <laughs> Is that for real? Too, they're going to work yeah. that in, yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. Who, but somehow, Rotten Tomato gave Spider-Man 3 a 65%. Rotten Tomatoes is not perfect. No, it's, oh, the, it it's, not. it's, it's yeah. the worst reviewing site there is. Yeah. You think so? Yeah, because it doesn't factor in the actual score. It's just anything above a six is good in their book, and I don't think that that's how it works. Is that really what they do? Yeah, anything above sixty percent is considered a positive score. It's considered fresh, correct? Yeah. No, yeah. Woman, Wonder Woman just dropped out of that. Oh well, that brings yeah. us to our next point. I heard that movie Cosmic. sucks big time. From comicbook.news, I just watched it yesterday. Wonder Woman 1984, a disaster. Tanks on Rotten Tomatoes, box office, and reviews. So I actually um, watched this, what, two days ago? Yeah. Live tweeted everything as I was watching it. I got more retweets than I've ever gotten in my entire life off that. Or likes, I should say, not retweets. But um, some of it made sense. Some of it, I was like, okay, I see where they're going. The acting from Gal Gadot was better. Some of the plot made a lot of sense. And some things, they just dropped the ball completely. Like something there's like, whatever, this just happens. So yeah, it's, I, it's sloppy. Yeah, I was kind of surprised because the first one was pretty solid. I thought it was going to be just like, I didn't expect it to be great, but I thought it would at least be like an okay movie. DC was kind of like doing better. It yeah. seemed like yeah, the past did, couple did attempts. Either, so. Did either of you guys see it? No, I, I haven't watched it. I didn't no. watch the second one. Well, wait, it's first. streaming on HBO Max. You have to, you still have to buy it though, right? No, no it's, no, on, there, it's, it's on totally, for 31 days. It's like yes, the weirdest I think it's thing. It's like January 24th. I don't know how they make money off that. We discussed this before that like, it seems mm. like no matter what, they're going to be taking an L. So yeah. Yeah. It's, it's only yeah. for a month. I'll watch it. I do have yeah. HBO, so I'll give yeah. it a watch, but no, I, I haven't seen it yet. I just heard it was awful. So it's weird. It's just like, they get, first of all, and, and not spoilers, it starts off with an origin story again, which counteract Wait, the first, yeah what they talk about in like the first movie completely like so yeah so apparently this takes place after she starts getting trained but in the first movie she's like i didn't know i was special and then immediately it opens the second movie and she's competing in the olympics against like actual amazon warriors and like winning she's like oh mm-hmm. i didn't know i was special i'm just a, like a six-year-old kid like it's, it's stupid and the the problem with the movie was just ha- like literally nothing happens the movie's two and a half hours long and nothing yeah. happens for like an hour and 45 minutes oh God. uh no there's a couple there's a couple the fuck decent out of scenes here. in there there's, there's a couple decent scenes there's the nothing like, that happens the that action movie. in the movie is good it's stylized. I, would say Gal it's, I, heard, I heard it i heard it actress that she was in the first one now i heard the opposite i heard that the action looks like shit because the graph the cgi looks bad and i heard that gal gadot was a lot worse in this movie than in the first one really i felt like i, I heard that the her acting more. I heard that the acting all around was really bad in this movie, like from everybody. That's what I, good. yeah, I don't know. And literally, uh, what's his, what's the fucking guy's name? Steve Trevor. Chris Pine. No, Chris yeah. Pine. Chris Pine is playing Wonder Woman 
in like they switched. Yeah, like, yeah, they did like switch the roles. Same like, fucking character. Weird. Yeah, it is so stupid. It is that, like, that part was a little lazy. That bothered me too. But the the biggest, it's a spoiler. I'm not gonna say it. There's a spoiler involving Steve Trevor's character, who's, who Chris Pine plays. That that's what but that's what took me out of the film. Like that was my biggest issue with the whole movie. Yeah, I mean, but Max, I don't want to spoil it for everyone. Oh, for everyone or for just for the two of us? I mean, if, if someone's listening, I can tell them to stop listening. So more if, if Max doesn't want to hear. Do you care, Max, or no? Care? No, I'm not going to. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can spoil it. I don't give a shit. <laughs> All right. So if you haven't watched Wonder Woman 1984 yet, just skip like 30 seconds to a minute forward. I apologize in advance. About to drop a major spoiler. So Wonder Woman accidentally wishes for uh, Steve Trevor to come back to life. And in doing so, he literally just inhabits somebody else's body. He hijacks this guy's body for like a week and a half. And then there's no consequences for it at all. Like this guy just hasn't shown up at work. He technically gets uh, technically assaulted by Diana. Uh, He commits like four crimes while he's in this guy's body. And just no one talks about it the whole time completely ridiculous because i'm like this is this is someone like it's his life like yeah. he just got fired because he hasn't been anywhere he committed a crime he stole a plane Shenan. that's what bothered you that didn't bother you no what bothered she, me he shows up bother- and she's like oh you look different but you're steve all right this is fine i'm like no it's not fine no, 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 like, no. who is this man that's 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 the, what bothers me is the two parts that bother me is a when they get in the plane and she's like she, she's like he's like he, she's like, oh, we can't just get away. It's not like 1918 anymore. Like there's sonar. And he's like, oh, what are we oh, going to do? Yeah. And, she, and then she's just like, oh, I think I can make things invisible. Yeah, and then that, she's was, fucking that was BS. Yeah. Invisible. And that's yeah, how she's that. a fucking plane, which is stupid. And then the well, fact- How about the fact that maybe don't let a guy who hasn't seen a plane since like the 1910s fly a random jet now in the 80s. Yeah. That like doesn't he has no business sense. flying that plane. Or the fact that she learns how to fly because Steve Trevors tells her it's all about the wind. <laughs> and then she's and then she's just like she like whips her whip in the air, which apparently the lasso it has like infinite distance. It can go on, yeah. It just it goes yeah. on and on and on, and then just hooks onto a plane and just starts to flying. Yeah, it's, I thought that all it could really do was like tell the, make people tell the truth, but apparently it can like wrap around lightning. Dude, it yeah, that yeah, if that happens. It's just like the movie how fast does she perceive things? You know what I mean? To be able to see lightning and be like, let me like take my whip and like throw it onto the lightning and then move like that's. Like she's gonna crazy fast. The, the 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 movie dropped the ball. I don't like those stylized movies. I did not like uh, Man of Steel. I thought it was too stylized, and yeah. I, I you know I didn't like I didn't like this either. And that's that's my biggest my biggest gripe with the DC movies is I just feel like it's just like watching like a super CGI animated st- over stylized movie, and it's just not it's not you know the greatest movie trilogy of all time, which is obviously Batman. And uh, you know, has nothing to do has nothing to do with that. Is Before I get though? to the second thing, but but wait, how how can you make a Superman movie without feeling like it's over CGI? Because even though like Man of Steel was extremely CGI, I didn't hate it. I thought it was good. Same, I enjoyed it. I, I thought the action was awesome. I did. know the action was the part was actually what yeah. I liked the least about yeah. that movie because really? you can't really see what's going on. Um, Alad. I'll, Not, I'll and and, I, and it's and and I know and you know that other directors can do it better because I mean you look at the Marvel movies and it's all CGI. It's just Zack yeah, Snyder. Zach, Zach Snyder's is director. overrated. Yeah, I agree. He's with never that. done. He's I don't think he's ever done anything good, personally. Or well, the what, are, go ahead. are they releasing yeah. the Snyder cut? Don't oh, let me get me started on that yeah. bullshit. Four hours. <laughs> I don't know why people think that. Four hours. I don't know why people. Four hours long. Whoa. You know, and and this is the thing too that um, this is I think that's gonna get me in hot water with uh, Max and Matt. Um. <laughs> I do, I dislike um, the DCU DCEU Batman for the same reason I don't like Tom Holland Spider Man because I think that the director fundamentally doesn't understand the character at all. I'll give you that. Um, I like. I it. think that Batman is like a joke in Zack Snyder's movies, and while Tom Holland, I mean the Tom Holland Spider Man's, it's nowhere near that that bad. It's really bad with with Zack Snyder. I just don't like the motivation for the character in those movies. I agree. I and think Zach Snyder, I don't think. Yeah, I'm sorry. Go yeah. ahead. No, you're good. This is. I think I feel the same way. I don't like the motivation for the character for Spider Man in the MCU, and I don't like. I don't know. Everything he does with Batman is wrong, except for the way he moves. Like the action is decent. Oh my god, dude! That one scene, the warehouse scene in Batman versus yeah. Superman. Is, Listen, oh, that, that is I saw very that. Good. I saw that scene in the trailer. It's the only reason why I went to see the movie, and it was the only good thing in the entire movie. And it was <laughs> two and a half hours long. Yeah. So, Come I mean, on, you don't like you don't like saving Martha. <laughs> that was stupid. That you know, was they so could have. Really they, they, 
they could have they might have been able to do a better job but but Zack Snyder can't write dialogue for his fucking life no. or direct actors for his life. So no, he really, it's, it's all action scenes with him. And that's why I don't understand why people are clamoring so much for the Snyder cut. Like that's going to save the movie. Like the movie was doomed off the start. DC needs to hire different directors to do stuff and trust yeah. them to make the process. Like it, I say this all the time, Marvel has a plan. DC is just going by the seat of their pants. Yeah. I mean, apparently the, the Superman returns movie from 2006 uh, scored way better than the man of steel movie. And I remember nothing about that movie. That movie I was going to say that movie is yeah. very forgettable. There's really... Yeah. Wait, who, who, who played him in that movie? What's that guy's name? Brandon um, Routh. Brandon Routh. Yeah. 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 Listen, I mean, that movie was just trying to be Christopher Reeve Superman. That's yeah. that's that's why it's so forgettable. That story. Yeah. I mean, even his, like, suit alone, like, doesn't even doesn't even look like... Good. like in the, And that's what I don't like about the, the new DC, you know, EU movies and the DC movies period. It's like, everyone's suit looks like a fucking thing of armor. Like... I get it, but Superman doesn't wear like his suit's not armor, and t- you know all the original yeah, it's just stuff. pajamas. <laughs> uh, yeah, essentially. I mean, even even Aquaman, like Aquaman's new suit is. I get it. Like you probably couldn't do the orange and green look, they did. but when? Yeah, they in did the, do in it. Aquaman. They did. Yeah. yeah, I don't remember that. It's like a big deal. Really? That's yeah, much like, I was, guess- that's much I wasn't paying attention to that movie. <laughs> Yeah. It's like it's actually like really central to the plot. Like they do a good job of building that up. Really? Yeah. I don't know. His his action figure back there is the one that's all green. So I don't I don't I don't <laughs> fucking know. But um, I mean, again, hopefully, you know, when it comes to the DC movies, they can figure something out because apparently they may be losing one of their characters. It obviously isn't going to be in their characters anytime soon. But the fact that you know Joseph Gordon Levitt is been rumored to play a Marvel character, which is actually our next topic here, blows my mind because I'm like, who the fuck's he going to play? I mean, I get it that they dropped the ball with the Robin thing, but were you going to say something? That was bad. Yeah, the only thing I was going to say was I think that the Matt Reeves Batman is going to come out and DCE is going to fall apart because it's going to be so much better than anything they've done. Yeah. So you, really? Yeah, I can yeah. believe that. I don't. I, I mean, I think that I don't. I don't like I'm, Robert I'm Pattinson, not, but I can believe no, that. Sorry. Now that's the thing. I'm not one of the people who hates Robert Pattinson. I actually like Robert Pattinson. I think he's a really good actor, and I don't like the way he looks necessarily. But I think, like in that role, like the long black hair looks kind of stupid. But yeah. I think that as an actor, he could totally pull it off. I mean, I think, I, I, said think it on, um, I think I said it on your guys' show. I still think it's a Batman Beyond movie. But it takes no. I mean, Batman. <laughs> Be- I don't think. I mean, I don't know. Maybe, but. It doesn't look like Batman Beyond. I mean, Batman Beyond takes four. Yeah, but his his he, his hair looks more like Terry McGinnis, and his young look looks more like Terry McGinnis than does Bruce Wayne. And even if you oh, go back sure. to like Batman Year One, like he doesn't look like that. Um, and I mean, I get it, there's obviously my theory is like really like conspiracy theory, like the fact that you don't actually see who's reading the letter that says like I think it says like Bruce Wayne on it, and you never see who actually holds the letter. So I'm like, you know. It could be a, a you know, a, some sort of like psych out. But again, if they've already casted, you know, what whoever, look, look what, what's the fucking girl as Catwoman? Who's the actress? Lenny Kravitz's daughter? Yeah, Lenny Kravitz. Uh, uh, so you, were you just gonna say what did you just uh, say? Max? No, I was gonna say Halle Berry. <laughs> yeah, Halle Berry, Catwoman. Yeah, <laughs> that, that movie's awesome. bad too. We watched that. So that bad. Movie's really that bad. Movie. She but, is she is so beautiful though. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, well, that's like, what we were saying. We were watching that. We're like, how is her in this outfit not saving this movie? It's crazy. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. I mean, a bunch of guys still did see it, let alone even if it was a bad Eight. movie. <laughs> Eight people saw it. Yeah, <laughs> everyone else just bought the poster. <laughs> what? But uh, but yeah, so the poster in the in what? In the, the outfit. Wow, well, you bought it? No. Hmm. Okay. You I, want to say, I have can i say i have a i have a poster from a movie that's not a good movie but i bought it because the actress is beautiful on it do you, get, you want to take a guess <laughs> no why is that the first one that comes to mind yeah, i was like what yeah, okay. <laughs> i don't know it's gonna be so random uh can i get a genre uh oh. sci-fi do i know it <laughs> jr would know it i think you've definitely seen it jr but i keep it in my like closet I have tons of movie posters around. Like I'm looking. Was it at, like the Fantastic it, Four with uh? What's oh, Jessica, out of here. Jessica Alba. I wish that that's another great one. No. Don't, that's tell what I was, that's, don't tell me it's uh the movie with um, 
Not Eiffel 65. No. Eiffel 60? What year is it that you just made that reference? the The movie with fucking Bruce Willis. And he's fighting the chick in the, sp- in the spaceships. Oh uh, it's it's a big it's a it's an extension of the all time like big movie franchise. Avatar. So There's like four or five movies at least. I'm thinking. Harry Potter. All right, it's I'll just tell it to you. Three, two, one. Terminator Genesis. That's what I was gonna <laughs> guess. Oh, time out. Are you, are you, are you talking guess. about because yeah. of what's her face? Okay. Amelia, Amelia Clark. Clark. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I knew you were gonna say. That. <laughs> I knew <laughs> that's what I, I knew. I feel I'd bad that I didn't guess that. I knew I'd two seen is it. my favorite movie. One of my favorite oh, movies all incredible. time. Incredible! It shows that yeah. movie sequels can be amazing. Yeah, I mean, I'll give I'll give you the Amelia Clark thing, but wait, yeah, we had an argument about this Terminator movie, Terminator Two. What the fuck we say about it? You tried to say it wasn't a sequel because it's a different movie. I'm like, well, You're yeah, right. it's a different it's movie. It's not a sequel. sequel. It's not a sequel. Yes, it is. Damn. That's about the same argument I have about the Captain America movie. So okay, just stop. <laughs> like you're saying, oh, like the like the yeah, Cap three just doesn't continue the storyline. Yes, it does because it makes Cap a human in yeah. the third movie. Okay. Oh yeah, sure. He's the best arc of any. Oh character. yeah, oh, totally. Uh, uh, what? I'm gonna disagree with you on that. The best arc of any character in the Marvel films, all the MCU films, is Thor. Thor. Yeah, I don't dude. know. Uh, Thor starts uh, off on an absolute high. Like, one. if you watch the first movie, Thor's like, oh, I'm the man. Everything's about me. Blah, blah, blah. And he doesn't have and eyebrows, then, you know? Yeah, was, I hate the way he <laughs> the first movie. And then he, gets, and then, and then he gets eyebrows. movie, third movie, he's like, he's one of the strongest Avengers. It's like, whatever. Then, um, once Ragnarok starts, he actually has, like, kind of a descent. Like, he loses all of his friends. He loses an eye. He loses his brother in Infinity War. Everything's gone. He gets completely then, then, he gets, then, he gets, then, he, then he gets Then he gets fat. Yeah, and then he gets fat. He gets the power, but he—you see him like go through an actual depression arc. Like, and, I mean, his Ka- character Cap goes, hasn't lost people. Cap no, hasn't. I'm just saying the the no, character hasn't. change. Like what you see Thor go through. You see Thor go through actual PTSD. He panics a little bit when Hulk shows up and brings up the idea of fighting Thanos again. But I yeah. think, but I I have to disagree with that because I think Cap in the first movie he's a man fighting for his country who. Um, you know, only knows how to, how to follow, you know, the U.S. government. And then in the second movie, he realizes that you can't trust everyone, that the the people he used to work with, you know, the whole government or part of the government is, is run by Hydra. And then by the third movie, he's out there just to save his friend and to do what's good, even when Iron Man does, thinks he's doing what's right. No, Cap is there to try and save his best friend. Um and because he knows he didn't actually bomb whatever the that that hall that embassy yeah yeah, yeah the embassy you think that tony stark is cap's best friend no he's talking about bucky bucky wait that's the third one that's the second one no, no. that's the third it's one the, he third finds one. out about bucky in the second one and the third yeah. one he tries to save the whole thing is about cap just trying to save him in the third one i do agree with that Dude, let me just say, i have to say like as far as some fight scenes like the top fight scenes in any in, like superhero movies yeah, the elevator fight this. scene the elevator fight scene in cap 2 is one of the best ever i was gonna say the airport fight scene in civil war though like everybody has like kind of a signature moment in that fight scene i love that i love when black panther is going toe-to-toe with cap and he has that like i don't even know how to describe that like triple kick in the air yes it's nuts yeah yeah i don't know uh about i i was actually underwhelmed by the airport fight scene kind of Wait, because you expect it to be bigger? You wanted like more out of it? No, I did. I, did. I, not, I thought it was going to be bigger. I, I, it's not the only that I wanted to be bigger. It was just like such a bad location for a fight scene, like an airport runway. <laughs> like, that. like, it that's was such a boring yeah. place to do it. But I will say the only the only time that MCU Spider Man has actually been good was in Civil War. Oh my that was god, the best he, was he ever was so accurate, and he, and, and he sucked ever since. Well, can can we say <laughs> what what actually I pissed disagree me? He sucks since, but well, let me say what pissed me and Jr. Jr. and me off is that they showed that in the trailer. I know. Yeah. I wish they kind of wish they kept it. We, we were like, dude, that was awesome. Like just like an Interstellar, of course, keeping Matt Damon out of all of it. Just keep it for the movie. Either way, it made us so freaking hype. Matt Damon's an Interstellar. Yeah. I'm kidding. I'm so sorry. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Wait, Dude, Max, Max no. is like, yo. Are you, Wait, Jared, did Jared, yeah. did he watch Interscoped? <laughs> Interscoped. Wait, hold on. Matt, Matt Damon's an Interstellar? Have you not oh, seen Interstellar? Did you watch is it? it? Is that the one when he guy like goes, is that with, what's his name, Matthew McConaughey? Yeah. 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 Did Matt you Damon watch it? No. Oh, no. Spoiler alert. Why are you asking? <laughs> yeah, I would be surprised about something if you haven't seen it. Because yeah, I thought it was, it was a, just Matthew McConaughey. Was no, it was a surprise reveal. 
they said they, they, that he just randomly shows up yeah, in the middle. It, it actually did trip me out when I was watching. I was like, oh shit! I was like, wait a minute, Matt Damon. Matt Damon. <laughs> Matt Damon. <laughs> But yeah, I guess, I guess the, the 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 they did they did spoil the Spider Man thing in the trailer, didn't they? Yeah, I, well, I mean that w- they revealed him in the trailer. I think that was necessary because there was so much question about whether or not he would or wouldn't be in the movie. But I do think that the internet has ruined surprises in films because we get That's constant true. updates like this person just signed on, this person was seen on set. I would love to go into a movie totally clean, having no idea what's going to happen. And the only I time I think they've kind of done that was Endgame where all the trailers for Endgame barely showed new footage. It was actually all like old footage from Marvel films. So you didn't really know what you were getting into until the movie came out. I think Marvel is so good at making trailers as well. One of the, one of my favorite trailers of all time of any movie is Age of Ultron. But then the movie was a big oh, letdown. I but fully they fully agree though. Dude, that trailer that is phenomenal. Tra- the first trailer, like you're watching yeah. it and you're like, Ultron is so Yo, scary. Yeah, and then it's no and then it's just, on me. I and then like, it's just and like, then when you watch the movie, it's just like James Spader making shitty dad. Making jokes. quippy yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah that I, was I, one of the worst. That was that that in my opinion, probably my least favorite movie in the MCU just because of how disappointing no, it was. Yeah, I was it was actually, but I was going to say Thor um, 2 was probably... I didn't, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I didn't even watch it. Yeah, you don't You don't need to, honestly. You missed yeah. nothing. Hot take. Listen, hot take right here. Thor 2 is better than Thor 1 just because I love the relationship between, between Thor, Thor and Loki. And Loki. Loki been... steals a couple scenes in Thor when he's changing characters. It's like, yes. that's what made it for him. He like changes into Cap and he's like, oh, yeah. I feel like I feel so righteous. Face. Yeah. Yes. Great. <laughs> I, th- I thought Thor 2 was pretty bad as well. Thor like, 2, like the plot makes zero sense. And that's one of the few examples where they clearly didn't have a plan. Like they didn't know what that stone was going to do later on because it makes no sense that that's the reality stone and the way it's used later like this. How did that even happen? Yeah, that was the one with uh, Malekith, right? Malekith. Yeah, and he was just yeah. like, and that, that was like a good actor who just plays a very forgettable role. Like he's not even really like, he doesn't do anything like crazy evil. I'm like, all right, yeah. whatever. Well, the Sith and the other two or three of Thor's, you know, friends are in that. I love Sith. Yeah. She's so beautiful. Well, she's coming <laughs> back, apparently. Really? So, yeah, for the next Because she didn't she didn't get killed. She wasn't on Asgard when Hela showed up or when uh, Thanos showed up. So she, she, should, she should still be alive. Dude, Ragnarok is like a top five Marvel movie oh, for yeah. me. Easy. Ragnarok's it was incredible. Amazing. I'll give you that. That was good. That was, but that movie the was... The opening alone hold on. me. I was like, yeah, I'm in. Ra- Ragnarok was... The first two thirds of Ragnarok, I liked. I did not like. I didn't care for the end fight scene at all. I thought what? I didn't. I, I didn't was like, whatever. The end fight scene. I just didn't think. I just thought it lost lost its like comedic thing. I guess like after like the whole like that when they leave the freaking junkyard land or the fuck there. I forget what it was called. You know. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I was Jeff like, Goldblum. Yeah. Yeah. Like once I left there, I was like, I don't care about this movie anymore. Like this thing was this thing was like a knockoff of Planet Hulk, but if Planet Hulk was a movie, but didn't do planet hulk fully what do you mean it did it literally did planet hulk Mm. it literally that's what planet hulk was no it wasn't yes it was that's a lie reread it and what are you talking about that's what they didn't go into the full like oh he's got a he's got a girlfriend he's breaking everyone free but it was hulk being in charge of saying it worked considering they can't make individual hulk movies because of some stupid loophole i'll i'll argue that but whatever we can we can talk about that another time but i guess (laughs) going back to the moral of this topic is who would Joseph Gordon Levitt even play in the MCU movies? Mm. Captain um, America? Get no. the fuck out of here. No. <laughs> hey, I still think that he's a, I still think he's gonna come back in, in you know somehow in a different universe. And no, well, I don't think so. I'm I'm curious. I'm looking at what they've got coming up. First of all, this the, we're looking at the list from comicbook.com. Um Morbius and Venom are both on here, and that's false. I would I'm wondering who they could get in the play. He could play someone in uh, Fantastic Four. That was yeah, that's what I was going to say. That's what yeah. I was going to say. But I would hope if he's anyone in that, it's like Doom. I mean, but it, even then, he wouldn't be my first choice for that role at all. I don't want him to play Reed Richards. I need that to be John Krasinski. I need that to happen. John was supposed to be Cap at first. Like, yeah. not Cap, but it was like him and Chris, which him I'm Chris happy. Evans, yeah. Chris Evans, yeah. Well, then and somehow Will Smith was in there, too, for a little bit. It's like, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Please don't do this. I, th- I think the problem with the Fantastic Four is they kind of put out that leaked uh, fan drawing, which was like John Krasinski and em- uh, Emily Blunt. Emily Blunt, yeah. Uh, but Zach, it looks great. Zach it Efron. Looks... I'm with it. I'll take Zach Efron as the uh, the Human Torch. And then I don't know who they had as the thing, but I mean, anyone. It, it almost doesn't matter. 
test anyone like it just, it just have a voice actor like you really don't need someone physically playing that part i mean i don't know if it was like you guys too but growing up um I, i'm always a big fan of like superheroes but i've always wanted to be johnny storm where i could just be like flame on and just like, <laughs> literally around, just turn yeah. fire just fly <laughs> like dude like the scene like they're not good movies i understand there's a few good reasons that you should watch it jessica alba is beautiful top five women like all time probably then she's like just, a billionaire now which is crazy really yeah off like some whatever she makes she has some kind of beauty product or something she's like a billionaire off i'm like good for you what else is now great for her <laughs> I mean, literally, just being able to turn, like, have a flame right here. I, I don't know, dude. It just it's never scary. be cold again. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I guess, I guess the only thing I can see him doing it would be Joseph Gordon-Levitt would be playing, uh, like, you know, uh, Giant Storm from Fantastic Four. But I feel like the issue is that I feel like Joseph Gordon-Levitt is a little too uh, I mean, popular to be that role. He could play Nova in one of the upcoming like Captain Marvel movies. Let's see, Silver Surfer. Whole. I don't. I couldn't see him as Silver Surfer. The, he could be a character in Eternals. I mean, I, they're probably almost done filming with that though. I could see him being in something Captain Marvel too, though. That would make sense. All right, then I'll I'll go ahead and say here at seven fifty five on December twenty eighth, he's playing Captain America. He's not playing Captain <laughs> America. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm saying not. it. He's That's not. my prediction. Do you have any idea how big of a fail that would be on Marvel? Like that, I would lose all faith if they did that. Like after Chris Evans has killed this role for what over ten years now, and just had a, yeah. a complete perfect send off for the character, they're going to disrespect and bring in somebody else who doesn't even look like he could play Captain America to play Captain America. Yes, I mean, has Marvel really whiffed on a role? Yeah, I mean, I could say I don't love Brie Larson as Captain Marvel. I don't like, I'm not in love with her with that, but has, has there any been like any people that are just like, all right, that's a horrible pick? The only one I could think of is uh, the guy who played Iron Fist. That movie, that show sucked. Uh, I, okay, I didn't, I didn't watch that show. Don't, but. don't even waste your fucking time. You should well, Agents go. of S.H.I.E.L.D. sucked. I spent so much time watching that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's such a waste. If you got through that, yeah. then you might be able to get through Iron Fist. I didn't. And I watched, oh, like, okay. <laughs> I watched it up until like I saw Sif in an episode because I was really hyped. They're like, yeah, we're bringing like people from the MCU in it. And then he just brought her, and I was like, okay, Yeah, it's that, like, uh, that barely counts. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's like a D-list like, Marvel star. Yeah. <laughs> no, that, uh, the Iron Fist is a bad casting. But, I mean, again, I'm sticking with it. I'm sticking with my fucking Captain America thought. I, th I feel like they're yeah, But it's wrong. Do you want to so pick I don't, someone who correct? I don't care if it's wrong. It's my fucking opinion. And opinions of assholes. So if you want to fucking listen to my opinion, fucking listen to it. If you don't, I'm going to fuck. <laughs> There's my answer to that. Just like my next opinion, which I think the Mass Effect sucks. And I'm diving. Right. I'm, are you kidding me? Are yeah, you it's kidding time me? To, time to unmute the mic. Time to talk. <laughs> I'm diving right in. All right, all right, all right. Give, give me a reason why. Well, I said this before on. What on, the, the yeah the first one's old. Yes, it plays like yes. shit. Okay, great. Yes. Next point because that one's stupid. That's like saying you can't play an N64 game because it looks like shit. You can't. That's a that's, that's that's another dumb one. All right. What? Another reason. You're gonna tell me you could sit there right now and play Perfect Ooh. Dark or Goldeneye. No. Yeah. Bullshit. That's a, I can play no, Ocarina of Time. That game's... What? Yeah, I can play that. There's no Why way. Why not? I'm going to be right back. How, Give me how, one second. Sorry. How can you, how Sorry. Can you like, play? I have my only allies leaving. How, he's, how can you play Ocarina of Time right now in this era with era, whatever fuck the word is, with that controller? Because it's fun. That's a terrible it's answer. A fun that, game. That's it's, a, a, it's a fun game. That's like me telling you that Mass Effect 1 sucks and the series sucks because Mass Effect 1 has the biggest loophole in any game, which is literally take a boom, a boom duggy thing over the fucking goddamn moon and collect things for fucking 25 minutes. I'd rather, wait, wait, I'd rather play what? Uno by myself. Wait, wait, what? When, wait, you're, when you have the wait, little moon buggy thing. Yeah, the, the makeout. It's the worst vehicle in gaming. I know, but what about it? That alone kills that game. And but the, you're not required to do any of the extra missions. You have you, to you, use that the main code You thing. have to on a, yeah, on occasion, but it's not the main centerpiece of the game. No, but you have to be in that, like you have to be in that stupid ass thing. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. What yeah, you have yeah, but you have to do it. Yes, okay. But what is, but, but what is what is but you didn't give me a real reason why you can't play a game like Ocarina of Time other than the fact that it looks old. Like, the I don't get it. What's the problem? The okay, yeah, the control, yeah, yeah, okay, N64, okay, fine. How about the DS version where it fixes the controls but the game still looks like shit? 100%. But, it, control, it, but it controls better. 
Yeah, controls better. Yeah. Okay. I, I, yeah. I the had a wild turn the, of the, the, here. Sorry about that. No, don't worry about it. <laughs> the, the controls, the controls in, in Ocarina of Time or, or on the N64 are unplayable right now because okay, it's just so, then so let, good. So then let me pose you this question. When they remaster all three of the Mass Effect games, which they're doing, if they fix the controls for the Mako... <laughs> Yeah. Then, I think then the game, probably then the game suddenly becomes then the game suddenly becomes good, in yeah. your opinion. I would I would revisit it. Okay. If they, I, the only and, problem and, no, the third game isn't that great either. The only game in that series that's decent is the second one. Okay, it's, not, it's, it's better. It's it's better than decent. I mean, the second game is unbelievable. Is amazing. I mean, the third game. Say what you want about the story. That's what a lot of people had issues with. Was, was the ending, but that game hits the ground running. Like off the yeah. bat, you're like, finally, this is what I've been waiting no. for this whole yeah. time, and you're immediately involved in it. Yeah, no, I actually really enjoy the third game. I've recently played them, and I played the third one a lot, like for like the longest amount of time this playthrough. I actually don't hate the third game anymore. Still think the endings were like not good. Yeah, not it was. Long. It was whatever like I, it's more or less what i expected i didn't think there was going to be a phenomenal ending my my one gripe with the game Star is Child. i wish <laughs> is i wish it was a little bit more involved like they promise like oh everything you do is going to affect what happens in the end yeah and it no. did i just wish it was a little bit more of an investment you know i wish a yeah. little bit more to come out of that there's no i guess that game isn't there what is there only two endings that game no there's, there's four there's, there's four. four four endings I, Which I, three, and then three and then two has like 12. Does it really? You know, something like that. Yeah. Because I mean, every single one of every single one of your people can die at the end. You know what I mean? I guess oh, yeah, that's die. right. You had to be really careful with that. Like I was like, all right, I'm sending this guy for this and getting all your tech skill all the way up. Yeah. 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 But doesn't the ending of the, the, uh, the ending of the series, the problem I have with, with game, with a game like Mass Effect is when it comes to the ending, the ending had a designated ending, but there was really one ending. Like there your character. Yeah, yes. The, the no. Series, okay. No. The no. Ending no. to your character. There's one thing was going to happen to him. That was it. He was gonna no. Die. No. There's an ending where he lives. When? Yeah. If you do the, if you pick the destroy ending and you have a certain uh, criteria, he lives at the end. Seriously? Yeah. They don't like show anything afterwards, but they show him like <gasps> taking a breath, and he is confirmed to be alive. That's just a fucking cop out. Yeah, but that's that that, that he does live at the end. <laughs> I, don't know. I feel like when when it, when a game is that big and when it literally has just to go down to the like, hey, there's actually going to be one ending, but we'll let you make all these choices to think that it's going to fucking do something. Just give me yeah. a fucking linear game. No, yeah, and I I agree with you. I think that the real problem is that you know Casey Hudson ended up kicking out all of his writers and saying I'm going to write the ending the way I want to, and fuck everyone else's opinion. And so that's why I'm like happy that he's gone because. He left the studio and the fourth game's coming out and I want, I'm glad somebody else is in charge of it because I think he's the reason that the uh, ending sucked. So you're not considering Andromeda part of that series? No, not at all. Well, um, yes, because the fourth game is going to somehow apparently connect the two series, but I'm never going to play Andromeda now. But you'll it's play, not... but, but you would go back and play Ocarina of Time on a 64. Yeah, that's different though. The reason I wouldn't play Andromeda is because the story's dog shit. Like it's just an, it's not an interesting story. It, it could have been. I don't know how they fucked it up. It makes no sense that it was as bad as it was. Because if you think like exploring a new galaxy would be something interesting, but not in that game. And that yeah. game sucks. I no. can't offer it anything to this. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's it's all right. I just I just had to. I I, I knew that Matt was a big fan of Mass yeah. Effect, so I just wanted to. Effect. Yeah, I just wanted to hear someone's opinion on why it was good. Because again, I I wasn't a fan of it. Just like I said before. On the last on your guys' show, I also think that Breath of the Wild isn't that great at all. I think it's just yeah. I, mean, I think that game is just yeah. You really lose me there. I don't know what there is to really dislike about that game. I just don't. I don't know what there is to dislike about it. Okay, well, I mean, like I said before, I, I don't like the fact that it took me. And again, you, you told me that it, you can find a horse right away. It took me four hours yeah. to find a fucking no. Yeah, fuck when as, as soon as soon as you jump off of the plateau, there's like you can literally like you can look off of it and see horses. Yeah, well, I, I must have missed that memo because I didn't yeah. do that. And I also, like I said before, yeah. I despise any time there's a weapon breaking system in a game. I think it's stupid, and I think that if, okay. I, if I find my favorite weapon, let me use my favorite weapon for a long. Yeah, while. I mean, I get, I understand that there's only one indestructible weapon, and the master sword, but that's in every Zelda game. Yeah, so, what? That's in every Zelda game. Anytime you get the master yeah. sword, it's, always, it's no, yeah. And I get, I understand why people, I understand why people didn't like the weapon breaking system, and I, I know why they did it. I just don't think they did it well. Like there, there are games that do it better. Like The Witcher Three does it better. Yeah, um, but 
The re- I mean, the, the reason they did it was because they didn't want you to like go into this really tough area, get the best weapon in the game, and then just breeze through it. That's the idea. Because you can go anywhere you want at any point. So they're like, oh, well, we can't let you do that because then the rest of the game is not going to be challenging. That's the idea. I mean, if they, I get why you don't like it, but if, that's they, why it's if they get rid of that weapon breaking system in Breath of the Wild 2, I will, I will give that game a shot. The second one. I guarantee they won't get rid of it, but you already have the sword. Master Sword. You, th- you think they're going to give it right away? Yeah, because it takes place immediately after the first game. Right? Then what's the point of even collecting other weapons if the Master Sword is the best weapon in the game? Because it's not the best. It just is it's indestructible. I don't know. We'll, we'll see uh, We'll see how that fucking game we'll goes. Find out. I mean, it's, it's only a matter of time. But before we get into the real topic of the day, which is none other than the greatest movie trilogy of all time, which we already know the answer of it, Matt, Tell us, attempt to tell us, what can we find at our local comic shops on December 30th? You're muted, so I will just... uh... Whoops. So we've got a long one, and we're mixing it up again this week. It's not that long. Whatever. Okay, go. (laughs) From DC, we've got Batman Annual number five. Tales from the Dark Multiverse, Dark Knight's Metal number one. Dark Knight's Death Metal, The Last 52, War of the Multiverse is number one. And I'd like to say something for earmuffs. Kiana, earmuffs. Earmuffs. My niece is over, so I'm, I'm like babysitting tonight. But honestly, fuck that title, dude. That's ridiculous. It's so goddamn long. There's no reason for a title for a comic book to be that long. What was it? <laughs> okay, you're good. Okay. <laughs> Justice League Endless Winter number two. From Marvel, The House of Ideas, The Amazing Spider-Man, number 55, X-Men, number 16, The Avengers, number 40, Wolverine, 8, King in Black, Iron Man, Doctor Doom, number 1. That's interesting. I'd read that. Can we add that to the list? We've also got King in Black, Namor, number 2. That too. We've got Shang-Chi, number 4. We've got Ghost Rider, Return of Vengeance, number 1, Werewolf by Night, number 3, Power Pack, number 2, and Marvel previews number seven. Uh, from the preview on this, it looks like they're doing Alien. Uh, from IDW Publishing, we've got Transformers War World 26, Usagi Yojimbo number 16, Star Trek Year 5 number 17, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic number 92. Wait, what? My Little Pony. You heard me. <laughs> Transformers Galaxies number 12, Star Wars Adventures number three. Kanto, number two, The Hollow Men, number four. Uh, Usagi Ojimbo, Wanderer's Road, number two. Dungeons and Dragons, At the Spine of the World, number two. Transformers Escape, number one. Marvel Action, Avengers, number 12. Rom, Dire Race, number three. Marvel Action, Chillers, number four. From Image Comics, we've got Nailbiter Returns, number eight. Moonstress, Talk Stories, number two. Lost Soldiers, number five. And Todd's Toy- Todd Toys Comics, Spawn, number one, remastered, classic red foil variant. Again, entirely too long. From, who is this? Dark Horse Comics, we've got Colonel Weird, Cosmogog, number three. The Witcher, Fading Memories, number two. Critical Role, Vox Machina, Origins, number one. And finally, from Dynamite, The Boys, Dear Becky, number eight, and Vampirella, number 16. All right, so we're going to dive then right into this topic. Our featured, uh, our whatever person, our uh, sponsor membership thing. You know what? We've said enough times. We've done it 32 times. This, this show is sponsored by Go to me, moms, guys. Go, go. To, go, go to me, moms. Get food. So we're going into, so I sent over a link of from uh, actually CBR, which actually kind of was perfect because it broke down the the best 15 superhero trilogies ranked of all time. And it's very ironic what the top two are. Um, is, it, mm-hmm. is it ironic um, or did you only pick it because they both had Batman on there? No, no, it's, <laughs> it's, it's just really, really, you know, ironic that the greatest, you know, superhero trilogy of all time is one that's not about it's a superhero. not, though. It, which, but yeah, it again, automatically makes it not a superhero trilogy. I mean, but the, the sad We're thing really is... There. No, I, I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm... <laughs> it, 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 it definitely deserves its spot. And obviously, there's probably other movies on this list that are better than Captain America, too, I will say. Uh, uh, well... Uh, I I uh, I can tell you right now that I can probably pick one, two, three, 
four. I could probably take four movies right away that are better than Captain America. There's a lot of movies, yeah. honestly, as I'm going I'm through it, it, where like half With, the movies, if or more than half the movies in the franchise, have bombed. Like, and I don't mean bombed. I mean bombed. The Arkham games is on here. I don't know if that. I don't know if wait, I count that. By the way, wait. You're saying movies that are better than Cap Two? You that you? I could name it. I could name four. Yes. What? Go. Logan. Yeah. Um, the Matrix. Yes. The Dark Knight. The first, Spider-Man. the first Matrix. Yeah, only the Matrix. The okay. Dark Knight, Spider Man Two. I would say are all better than Cap Two, in my opinion. But when we when we talk about these two trilogies, and the, and this is what me and my friends like talked about when we were arguing one day, we said take the six movies. And put them in order from best to worst. And uh, listen, all you Batman fanboys, I will put the Dark Knight as number one. Fanboys. Okay, I, okay. What just you think Batman Dark Knight, sucks. I'm that putting Dark Knight as number one, and then number two, oh, you. Cap two, number three, Cap three. No, so then it, 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 like that. And then guess what? After that, I'll put Batman Begins, and then the last one, Dark Knight Rises, because it's so overrated. No, you're, you're, you're garbage. Getting, you're, you, you, because the, the top three movies, two of them are cat movies. You're trash. No, you're wrong. No, I actually, I'm, I'm actually going to agree with him on this. I'm disagreeing with this. Civil War has got such a bad script, it's not even funny. Like, it's, it's such a terrible script. Civil War isn't a Captain America movie. I, I'm Civil not even going to make that Avengers argument. Listen, Junior movie. it is, Thank but you. what I'm trying to say, but uh, uh, so aside from it being that, the script is so awful. The plan, the, the villain's plan makes no sense, and it is entirely based on plot convenience. It's not a good. It's it's not even a. It's not a good movie. I'm sorry. I would I really, still. I would still watch it over. I would watch Batman two Begins of the Dark Knight. My movies. I'd watch no, over. Wouldn't. I'd watch Batman yes, Begins over over Civil War nine times. Over Civil time. War. That's a bold statement. Civil because my it's a better argument, movie. My argument against uh, the Christopher Nolan films has been, and not even that I think Christian Bell's a bad actor because I think he's a phenomenal actor, but what is his signature moment in any of these movies? Like, Christian Bale doesn't really do anything as Batman. Like, damn, that was Batman. But all the villains tend to steal the show. Well, that's, I mean, I, mean, I, don't, I don't really think it's a bad thing. I was going to agree. I, I mean, because what, what I would say is a bad thing is that all the villains in Marvel, except for Thanos, suck balls. <laughs> I mean... So back to you on that. Every right, single right. one of their every single one of their villains is like pretty much garbage or one offs. So that's well, my that, I think that's a mistake on their part. They need to stop killing yeah. off villains. They really need well, to stop doing that because they, they do just system. one per movie. Yeah. Yeah, but they're still bad though. Like they're not good. Like in my opinion, but none of the we, villains. Are would we, we be talking we about the Dark Knight as one of? Yeah, because the guy. Uh, oh no, you're not gonna. Oh, you're gonna do this argument. We'll be talking about it if not Breathe Ledger. Yeah, I mean, I would say yes. Christian Christopher Nolan wrote the movie. He wrote the character. Heath Ledger brought it to life. But like that's like saying that, you know, that's like saying that Infinity War is only good because of Josh Brolin's performance as Thanos. Like, no, he's great, but the movie itself is good. Like, it's it's I don't I don't know. I I don't I don't like that argument because like my friend Mike tries to make that all the time. And no, it's still a good movie. I won't disagree that at all. But I do think the unfortunate circumstances surrounding Heath Ledger around yes. the time of the film's release definitely contributed to some of its success. People who wouldn't have no. normally no saw way. the movie went to see, oh, 100%. Get the fuck out no. of here. That is, that is, that is, that is but no, I will we'll say, see, no, what I'll say first, is, you know, he maybe won the Oscar because he died. Yes, I don't think he would have won if he was alive. But I wouldn't say that it made more money because of that. I, you know I, who I, I wanted to win the Oscar that year? I knew we all knew it was going to be Heath Ledger. You know who was up against him that I wish had won to this day? Robert Downey Jr. and yes. Thunder. Yes. Yeah, That's one of my favorite so movies. Funny. No, I mean, listen, I think it's amazing that he got nominated, whereas now, like, he would have been absolutely torn apart for doing Oh, my God. Like there's that. no way they could have made that movie. Now they got it out just in time. Like, four yeah, years yeah. later, it wouldn't, it wouldn't have worked. Listen, I, was, I, mean, I was literally watching a clip the other night. It was so, like, dude, <laughs> like, um, what's his face from uh, Mission Impossible? Tom Cruise is so oh funny in God, that. He's so over the, and you forget <laughs> it's him. Like Tom Cruise, I don't think I knew until the second like time watching. Like that was Tom Cruise. Like, yeah. Well, uh-huh. let me just say, just listen here. Back, I don't stick. think I think Bane is overrated as a villain. I, I don't think just he it's wanted a new Gotham. Yeah. He just wanted a new Gotham. No. Yeah, he was uh, he was just a whipped little bitch at the end of the day. <laughs> that was the worst part. wasn't that wasn't his plan. It was the fact that he was just you know doing everything for for Talia. Oh, yeah. That was the it's not who we are. I mean, only our plan that matters. He's I mean, a simp. N- not not. <laughs> yeah, he's, he is a simp. <laughs> the, Dane is a simp. The first, That's right. the first Captain America movie, and we can go this. It's not good. It's not good. It's not good. No, it's not good. Yeah, it is a good movie. It's like it's, it's like a solid six out of ten. The, yeah. the reason here that movie falls flat for one reason, one reason alone, in my opinion. There's because, lasers during World War II. 
That doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> well, no, I was going to say because I wanted an actual scene of Cap fighting in the war. Instead, yeah. like, they got him doing montage. this whole, like, yeah, montages. the montage they, they was, montage. like, eh, but yeah, I wanted to see him, like, on Normandy, like, leading troops. Like, that, like, that been true cool. Captain America, that would have been awesome. That would have been And cool. they're like, oh, no, he's doing, like, USO shows. I'm like, what? who wrote this? So, so Max, I, I got to ask, again, you've, you've, been, you've been much more quieter than I anticipated about this. Because you, you were pretty... I, I don't know if they explain it too much. <laughs> but, but there's, there, you haven't, you haven't said anything to convince me that Captain... America is a better trilogy because like I said before, you can't even consider I can't consider Civil War a Captain America movie. I'm sorry. I, That's I don't your opinion I, and it's wrong. Because it is. <laughs> Why? Because it has Captain America Civil War as the title. That's like saying that's that, like that's saying, a Marvel that that's a Captain America comic book, even though I don't read the comics, no, I've done so not, much research no, on no, it. No, no, it, that wrong. doesn't happen in there. I know it doesn't happen in there, of course, but that's one of the actual comics. Are you, are you pulling it no, out? No, it's not called Captain America Civil War. The comic It's just called Civil War, War, but it's about it's not, Captain America. No, in, it's about Captain America and Iron Man equally. It's not about just Captain America. You're wrong. Sorry. Dude, what, what are you saying? That The actual movie has both of them. What are you saying? I understand, but that's the whole point. It's not a Civil War is not just a Captain America story. It does close movie, off Captain America's arc, though. It does. It's completely. not a story that hinges only on him, and that's why I can't. Like, if you look at all the the other two movies, he is the be all end all in those movies. It's about him specifically, whereas Civil War is not just about Captain America. But here's why you can't even like. It, it's really hard for you guys to just argue like. If we're arguing two different franchises, let's just say Iron Man versus Captain America, Iron Man's arguing the America. DC versus Marvel, you know, you can't hold it against Marvel for having a huge cinematic universe where other people are in the movies. I'm sorry, you know, it just it wanted made for a better mm-hmm. movie, and you you can't. I'm you know, I'm sure if the DC EU was you know had other people in it, but for Christopher Nolan's films, they would have had other people, but. You know, I, I don't know what to say about oh, Iron Man was in a... Ooh. No, no, no. But what I'm saying is I feel like I could look at Civil War and say it's just as much an Iron Man movie as a Captain America movie. And actually, I like... I think that Iron Man's arc is more interesting than Cap's in that movie. But I think Cap yeah. was right. I think that they're both right. I don't think either one of them was wrong. It's funny. Okay, so in as far as the movies go... Like, I wanted Cap to win. I was like, no, I'm, I'm Team Cap. But in real life, I'd be Team Iron Man all day. Like, I don't yeah. want people just running around with superpowers, like, no, it's destroying right. things. No, like, I, I understand. But what did Cap just, are you guys listening to the movies or watching them? In the second movie, the people calling the shots are Nazis. So he learned <laughs> to not trust the, the powers that be. So, you know, I'm That's sorry that he has such a good arc and he's learning in his movies. He's not a stagnant character like you guys wanted to be. And he's not like Iron Man. And guess what? Iron Man is not a stagnant character. He's no, That's but I'm saying Iron so Man's continuing to just believe in what the government's telling him. Captain, no, he doesn't already. continue. You know, you're you're their their arcs are opposites. In the beginning, Tony Stark doesn't listen to anybody. He was but himself. and now he's pro government. Exactly, which is wrong, which is stupid. Because but you Cap just said that he's a stagnant character, and I'm he's just not saying their you opposites. don't want him to be a stagnant character. Okay, and he's not. You're just he's, mad he's, that he's I caught. You're just mad that I caught you in a contradiction, Max. That's all. Well, I mean, you, you, go ahead, go ahead. No, I. That's what I'm just saying is that I think Cap, forgetting like, okay, the trilogy, he has the, and you could say Thor, but I truly think he has the best arc of all of these super of the MCU. He it's does. hard for he, me to he argue you because no, it's hard for me to argue because I don't necessarily disagree with you. I just don't like this. I just can't say the trilogy is the best of all time. Like I think that his send off in Endgame was great. Like I did like that a lot. Um, and I do, uh, he's definitely in the top two, so I don't disagree with you necessarily. I just don't think, I just can't argue that, that the quality of the three Captain America movies is on par with, uh, with the Dark Knight movies. So, but you, 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 you don't, do you don't think there's an argument that the Iron Man trilogy or the Thor trilogy is better than Captain America's? No, absolutely not. Cause Thor only has one good movie and the Iron Man, Iron Man has one really good movie. Yeah. One Iron really Man shitty one. movie, and then the a one. Shane Black, and then a Shane Black movie. <laughs> Not really, high. you know what I mean. So it's like, I I actually do enjoy three. I think it's like hated more than it should be. I mean, the villain sucks, but the movie itself. I think I that's can, why people yeah. hate it. I don't think it's yeah. overall the way, like the worst film I've ever seen. But yeah, it's entertaining. 
like the arc that he actually has, Tony Stark is actually pretty interesting in that movie. It's just a really bad villain. You know? Well, it's supposed to about, be about his alcoholism, and I think it's really powerful talking about like how he is. Well, so they much ne- yeah. Trauma. Well, I thought that was two. And honestly, no, no, no. That's three. Well, no, no, no. Two, two focuses on it too. But that's the real problem, I think, with the MCU. They don't really focus on. They made him like they made and listen like Robert Downey Jr. is fit for that role like perfectly. But they made Iron Man more just Robert Downey Jr. than like what Iron Man I really agree. is. Yeah, and he, he, he's an, he's, he's, an, he's a he's a raging alcoholic with a lot of really negative attributes, and they don't really explore that in the movies at all. I, I get that. why, but it would have been interesting if they did. It would have made the third movie, I think, more rewarding. Well, yeah, because the first film he's actually playing Tony Stark. All the later films just they're just like whatever. Yeah. Excuse me. They're like whatever. Go ahead, do you just have fun? And like yeah. people love Robert Downey Jr., so it works. But he's not yeah. true to form comic book Tony Stark. Well, Tom Cruise like was in the running to play that too, and I I couldn't see Tom Cruise doing it. Yeah. He's, I mean, he, he's showing up. I could see him with the looks, but I don't know about the actual performance. No. Well, just the whole meme like is like is Robert Downey Jr. playing Tony Stark or is Tony Stark playing Robert Downey Jr. Like you see him. There's yeah. like a scene on YouTube. I think from the first movie where he's just doing eight minutes off the top of his head, just a scene with some woman, and it's like incredible. And you're like, whoa. Yeah, scene. there's only there's only one other casting that I see as being anything like close to that, and it's like Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. They're the two mm. best casts. I guess Deadpool. I, I guess Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds, Reynolds actually nails it. I think Hugh but, Jackman is a great actor, but I don't think he's dead on casting for Wolverine at all. His body type. Just because he don't, really yeah, but I don't care about his body type. Though. That's not what I. That's not what matters to me. Like I'm talking about the performance itself. I'll give it like, out. He's a great writing actor. For, and, really and the right and, and the writing and the writing of the character is pretty de- is pretty good. All things considered, it was like a PG franchise. I mean, yeah. but then when you watch Logan, I mean, it's, that's perfect. That is that is Wolverine, in my opinion. I don't know. I um, I, I agree. I mean, he's very old man Logan in the in the last yeah. one in Logan itself. No, I, know. Yeah. I mean, and then just jumping back to, you know, what we talked about earlier was you know the original Spider Man trilogy, like you know that movie. That shows you really kind of only fell sh- fell short on the third one. Yeah, the first two movies are really solid. Yeah. The second one is the book. The, there are two movie sequels and like that really stand out to me as improving on their original, and it would be like the Dark Knight and Spider Man too. Like they're so much better than the original because yeah. and they, and they wait, had what, such hot. Wait, what about fucking Cap? Are you kidding me? Well, Cap also, oh, but it's yeah, just but I don't. Yeah. I just I just don't love. That's true. I just don't love. Like that's not one of my favorite movies. Uh, so. That fits your narrative right there. You're saying you hate Cap One, so <laughs> Cap Two obviously has to be better. <laughs> it is better. It is. Better. I'm saying, I'm Cap saying two that is just that way better. I just, than I just don't. Better. But the reason, the, the only thing is, I just don't think people. The reason I didn't like go crazy over Cap Two the way everyone else is because everyone was acting like it was this like never be done before thing, and I was like, it's just like a political espionage thriller. Like it's not In the seventies. The mo- yeah, it's not the most. It's not like this like unbelievable concept that's never been touched before. Like it, I love the way they did it, and I thought it was really entertaining. But it's Isn't not it, like one of my favorite movies of all time. Like, well, it's never been done before in in superhero movies because I feel like it, superhero movies used to be just about these like superhuman people, but now they make them about like real world issues that are going on that we see, and that's what I feel like the cat movies have really shown. Of course, some other movies have, where of course like the Dark Knight, those, but in Gotham it just feels like a different world. Yeah, it feels it feel like I I guess that. I, I would say it does, it, other than except for like in, in Joker that 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 did act, that that version of Gotham actually did feel kind of real, like I that that feels that, that 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 feels like that kind of feels like I'm not I'm not like one of those people who thinks it's a a masterpiece. It's not. It's just Taxi Driver. I say the, the same thing. I agree. But but the way like the set design, it does. It feels like like a really shitty New York City. They're making a it sequel, right? No, I don't there, there was rumors machine. about it. I don't think anything got confirmed. I mean, and the thing, the thing, my argument with, with Winter Soldier is, and I, I agree, like Winter Soldier is a superior, the superior movie of the two and a half Captain America movies that there are, but Winter Soldier is only good because of Winter Soldier. He makes that movie. Uh, what? Yes, hundred percent. No, I'm not. Beg to differ. What is he? He says like one word in it. No, his character. <laughs> if you put any other villain, it's because of how cool that character looks. You couldn't make you if you put that. Um, go, go ahead, challenge I mean, me on this. I mean, no. I think the fact that the reveal that it's Bucky definitely adds something to the story. It layers on. I don't think 
the character of Winter Soldier himself really drives the movie right, forward that's beyond a, that's the a bone who that's, he is. That's a lie. Because the best part of that entire movie is the fight scene in the street and you the can, highway scene. Yeah, yeah. No, that's, and that's, and that's, that's the best that, fight. But but that's highlighted because of Winter Soldier, not Captain America. Captain yeah, America but Taskmaster could have done the same thing. But he yeah, it could have been another villain just in the street. Yeah. That that choreographed fight scene where like swinging the shield, oh, with the, the his knife? arm. Yeah. Oh my god! I I watched like a, a video on that behind the scenes. It's so freaking. That probably cool. took so right. long to do. Dude, but, it, 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 I read it took two weeks, two and a half weeks to like sh- just shoot the elevator scene. Hmm. What? What? <laughs> that's yeah. crazy. I didn't know that. That's that's wild. But I guess my and my, also do when he jumps out. When he jumps, I out, do uh, love the elevator scene though, just because like as he puts it all together, he's like, "You've got your one chance to leave right now." He's like, uh, "Nobody uh, leaving after this." Like this is your wait, one dude. Shot. But what about in in Endgame where he like gets in the elevator and then he's like, "Oh shit, this is the same thing." Yeah. He's like, <laughs> Hell Hydra. That mo- that movie is all fan service and like, I still loved yeah. it. And that was like the best that was like the best fan service in the movie for me personally. Yeah. Which and, sometimes yeah. you need fan service in a movie. Ever know it's like the most recent episode of Mandalorian. Every once in a while you see something like oh, oh, sorry. I know what ha- I know. I guess I saw the spoiler, but I don't want to know anything more. Oh, that sucks. You guys spoiled for you. That sucks. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, but I don't want to hear anymore. I'm ju- I just glad they're gonna, you know. They're gonna, save, pre- yeah. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna save things. Star Wars from Ryan Johnson. Yeah, I still gotta watch it. it, it I should, it. right? I, I'm mm-hmm. out. I'm out. You don't it. like it? Yeah. I don't like Star Wars. Period. Yeah, well, really? just, I, don't I don't like, like, I don't like Mass Effect. Effect. I don't like Star Wars. But it's funny because you would, the way you like <laughs> characters, you would love Mandalorian. You would honestly <laughs> love him as a character if you did watch it. I guess well, I like the main guy. Uh, yeah. He was in Arcos. Pedro. Pedro yeah. Pascal. He, yeah, he's, he's really good. Pretty bad though in Wonder Woman. 1984 he his character's fucking beat his balls yeah it was it, his his actual storyline doesn't make sense like what he did i was like but why yeah. would you do it that way yeah I, I i was out i was out on his character but i guess my my closing comments on this real fast is if spider-man 3 wasn't as bad as it was it would have been the second best trilogy Probably. I would probably say so, yeah. Because the first two were so consistent. Like the first one was like a really good superhero movie, especially for the time it came out. And the second one is like still up there as one of the best ever, in my opinion. If the third one was anywhere near those two, I think I, I would agree that, with you. My biggest issue with that movie is actually right after the train scene. But other than that, I had no major problems with. Like I remember being in theaters and he takes his mask off at the front of the train. I was like, but why? Like, I know it was on fire or whatever, but he, like, put it out. But I was just, like, I just didn't like him being unmasked all the time. Like, that's not a very Spider-Man thing to do. Like, his secret identity is everything. It's the act. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're going to talk about his secret identity being everything and not going to talk about how everybody knows, even before the reveal in Far From Home, everyone knows that Peter Parker. Oh, yeah, everyone knows. But that... Okay. They just don't, they just don't yeah. give a shit. They don't the give a is, shit. That's a more realistic. They're going off more of like the ultimate universe where it's very easy to figure it out. People are like you showed up in school twice. Like this guy's always missing. In the ultimate universe, they piece it together very quickly. The yeah. um, original trilogy is supposed to be a little bit more similar to the 616 where it's like you're just not supposed to know, even though it should be super easy to figure out all the time. If you work at the damn Daily Bugle, like putting two and two together should be a piece of cake. But yeah. so should Superman because like, dude wears glasses. That's a, fucking... a joke. That's a joke and a half. <laughs> like that's a, you got to be kidding. I, where are my glasses? I don't know where they are. But like <laughs> it, it, that's a joke. Like come on. Like you're a, you're a reporter and you regularly report on Superman, but you can't figure that out. Get out of here. Yeah, I mean, I think at the at the, at the moral of the story is at the end of the day, like between I mean, the Captain America, between Dark Knight and between a uh, Spider Man. Obviously, they're all they all have. Out of those nine movies, it's safe to say six of them are very good. And I think that, you know, you could argue that each each trilogy has one dud of a movie that, that's not exactly, you know, the, the greatest. And, uh, you know, or out of all those. So I guess at the end of the day, it's really whatever your cup of tea is. I think if you like, if you're somebody that's more into like high action and super bubblegum pop, you're going to probably like Captain America. 
But if you want something that's a little more serious, bubble gum, <laughs> bubble gum uh, pop. substance, right? Yeah. If you want, some, <laughs> <laughs> if you want something that's a little more uh, d- dark, I guess you could say you're probably going to go with that. Uh, if you want a little more, why would you kill a man before throwing him out of a plane? This city just showed you that it's better <laughs> than the cloud of crafts of Quaver you are. Listen. I don't know about you. Listen, people that hate the good. voice. Uh, people, listen, people uh, hate the voice, but in reality, like it makes sense that he disguises his voice. Hmm. And I can't blame. I don't blame Bale for that because it, it was actually good in the first movie. I think. No, I agree. It does make sense. It just gets so was, over the top in the later ones. Yeah, Christopher Nolan like decided to audio mix it. Did he really like, make it sound? Yeah, yeah he made, you can he tell made at one point they they have like a little audio like thing. You can tell it's something special on there. I know he takes it off, and at the end of the one movie, he like yeah. pops it out, and that's that. So. But yeah. All right, Matt. Well, tell us what is our shenanigans engine this week? Um, it's actually related to Wonder Woman 1984. So if you haven't seen it again, minor spoilers here, but you do see it in the trailer. She gets this, it, it's an absolute Deus Ex Machina. She gets this gold suit out of nowhere at a whim. It's in her apartment. She's like, Oh, it's like the most powerful suit ever. And if I wear it, I'll have the power of a hundred Amazons. Like it comes out of absolutely nowhere. And then she gets it, and then she can like she learns how to fly like before she has it, which makes no sense. She's going somewhere, then stops going in that direction, goes back to her apartment, gets this magic suit, and then wears it, and she's super powerful. It's bullshit. I'm, oh. <laughs> it's, uh, we're so glad you have headphones we've dropped we've dropped the f word like 30 times oh i know, I know. <laughs> so, but um no it's just it's her. absolute it's complete shenanigans like she gets the thing i and she's like ridiculously powered up and like the suit looks cool don't get me wrong but like the fact that she's got it out of nowhere i wanted just a little bit more of the story from that although they did kind of tie it together at the end of the film which cameron hated but we're not going to spoil that yeah he's the end of that movie so the post credit the post credit thing i thought was kind of cool uh, that post credit scene was stupid, unless you were fucking born in the fucking eighties, <laughs> like I was and you were. So if you didn't, know, if you if you didn't know who it was, it was fucking lame. Don't even bother. But but if you do oh, know, ugh. it's cool. It wasn't. And if you don't cool. know, now you know. It wasn't that cool. But <laughs> cool. anyway, that does it for us here today. Jared, Max, Monmouth County, thank you for joining us. What? Yeah, thanks, where can they find you guys? And what are you guys up to in the upcoming future? I know you're taking a little bit of a break, but. What's the want to go for? Want to say it, Jared? No, no, no. I was pointing to you, so you you got this. I'm I'm below you in this. Yeah, you're below. You're me. you're to the right, right there. One, I, I just want you guys to see. I have a whole Marvel wall right here, so I have the Marvel thing up there. Jared got me that cool cap thing right there. Um, it's like a spray painted thing. I have Civil War poster on the wall. Mm, I got that when we saw <laughs> opening night. It was a re- it was really cool. You know, they don't do that for the Dark Knight movies. They don't care um <laughs> wow but you can find us at at monmouth county memes on instagram we have the mcm podcast similar to uh to you guys i was i just want to say this is uh you guys are doing a great job we kind of do less scripted whether it's because we're a bit more lazy uh, or it's just laziness way but i like how you guys have done this you know it didn't feel forced and nothing felt pushed but i think you know we stayed on time we we're able to get enough in arguments but not too much where, you know, we want to stab each other at the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> where I'm like, I'm never coming back to me, Moss. <laughs> Thanks, bro. You know what? The last the French toast is French great. Toast. <laughs> the French toast is great. But you know what? Karen, you crossed the line tonight. <laughs> Cause I, yeah, because I, cause I refer to a Civil War as 2.5. <laughs> so, true. but yeah, and hopefully you guys can come out, you know, when Matt's just up as a fucking nut or a Buckeye, whatever you want to call Please it. Please let us thing. know. And, uh, it's going to be that, that the be worst good. day of my entire life. I We will, like, Instagram live that. Oh, okay. <laughs> We've never Fucking gone on Instagram live, but that'll be I, the first thing. <laughs> well, that means you'll get more people to pop up, you know, if it's the first time doing it and announced it on all your followers. Oh, does it really? Yeah. yeah. I don't know why I just shared that. I don't know why um, i would do that to myself and what are you wait what are you going to be dressed up as again so i'm a huge michigan fan which means i hate ohio state so cameron decided it would be funny if i lost or had a worse record in fantasy football to have me dress up um, in all ohio state gear possibly am i dressing up as in a jersey or as a mascot i haven't decided yet Ugh. But I'm trying to get you arrested too during the process, and, have, Why? and, Why? and, I, and I'm trying to get a mug shot so with you dressed. You're trying to get a mug shot. <laughs> Why would you do that to me? We're friends. That's a terrible thing. I was just say Dwayne Haskins was just released today. I saw that Dwayne Haskins. I challenged him to a fight like two months ago, what? and he still responded because he sucks. I'll be Dwayne Haskins up. 
He loves strip oh clubs. God. Yeah, I'll find James, just like James me. Harden. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he sucks just as much as LeBron. And they weren't they like well, years ago? How many years ago was he drafted? Dwayne Haskins? Two years last ago. year. Two years, years last year. No, two years no, ago. They were like making fun of the Giants for not drafting him. They were like, Are you fucking kidding me? Like, are you are you d- d- are you a dumbass? You didn't yeah. draft Dwayne Haskins? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm sure Jacksonville's excited because it looks like they're getting fucking a skinny dude. The Jets I screwed would up. Be they the screwed Jets. up. Yeah, like how does Adam Gates have a job? I don't know. Well, they fuck, he just fucked them for yeah. 10, oh, 15 hard. years. He just he just ruined hard. the franchise. Put him in the dirt. Yeah, that, that'll be interesting to see what happens to them. And, you know, at least Jacksonville has that running back that's pretty good, that James Robinson dude. But that's a different topic for a different show. Yes. So, Worth once again, once again, this is Why Am I Nerd. and Joe comments. You can follow us on Instagram at Why Am I Nerd official, Facebook.com slash Why Am I Nerd. Listen to new issues every Tuesday on YouTube and your favorite service, for a podcast service, that is. This does it for us for the year of 2020. So hopefully 2021 brings something better to the world, period. Um, and we can toast to that with a glass of scotch and some beers. <laughs> so I'm Cameron James. Seltzer. Those are the guys from Mom's County Memes, the Golden Voice Podcast. We're the Nerds with the Mouse. Till next time. We're out. See ya. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. Thanks for coming, guys. It was awesome. Later.